The story of Hanukkah seems like a rather peculiar match for our month's theme of humility. It's a great story, a story about the triumph of right over might, the story of the bravery of a small band of Jews who fought back against their oppressors and restored the religious freedom that had been taken from them. It's an inspiring, brave, incredible story that is not what you'd call an example of humility. But it is a story that inspired succeeding generations of Jews, some of whom inspired by that rebellion of the Maccabees undertook rebellions of their own, who fought back against their oppressors and lost. That's the thing with those kinds of improbable victories they are, well, improbable. And more than once it happened that the Jews responded with fierce military attacks against their oppressors and the oppressors just won and put in place even harsher conditions of oppression than the Jews were facing before in retaliation against those rebellions. And that's where the second half of the story, the miracle story, if you want to say it, the second miracle, if you consider the military victory the first miracle, it's where the story of the oil that burned for longer than was ever possible comes in. The story goes, and it is a story that came in later than the story of the military victory, that once they won in battle, the Jews returned to their desecrated, ruined temple and cleaned and rebuilt and were prepared to light the eternal flame that always burned in the temple, only there was just enough oil left to burn for one day. But they went ahead and lit it anyway, and that miraculous oil burned and burned for eight days and nights until new consecrated oil was available. Now that's a story that gets more at humility. When it turns out that courage and fighting back and pushing doesn't win, humility takes its place not in the form of giving up, not in the form of despair or declaring that all is lost, but in a quieter kind of persistence, in a quieter kind of hope, in a quieter kind of faith that in spite of it all, there will be enough for us to go on. For the celebration of Hanukkah, candles are lit, one more for each succeeding night, and those candles are displayed in the window as a declaration of that humbler form of faith, that we can go on, that we will go on, that there will be somehow enough to sustain us. And those candles are lit in a particular way, at a particular order, an increasing number each night, but they're lit by an extra candle. A menorah, a chanukia, has one candle for each of the eight nights, but it has a ninth position. And that ninth position, that extra candle is called the shamash, which means servant. It's the servant candle, and its purpose is to light the other candles. One candle for each night. And those candles don't have any job other than to be beautiful, to be inspiring. You're not supposed to read by the light of the menorah, to do work by the light of the menorah. It's just to be enjoyed. Those candles explicitly don't have a job. They're not supposed to do anything except for the shamash, the servant, which has one job, which is to light the other candles. You use the match to light the shamash and you use the shamash to light the rest of the candles and the menorah. Its job 
is a job of humility. Its job is to be a servant. Its job is to let others shine, to pass on its own light. And the shamus shines too. It goes right back in the menorah with the others. Its light is just as beautiful as the ones that have no other job, but it holds something special, not a glorified position, but that of the servant that lets others shine. There are times for fighting back. There are times for pushing as hard as you can, for going to the hills and fighting with all your might. And there are times when you know that that doesn't work. And a quieter faith is what is needed. A humble faith, not just in waiting and hoping, but also in letting your light shine and using your light to light the light of others, to create something beautiful that belongs to someone else, that puts that glory in the window for all to see. Happy Hanukkah.